What's up guys, welcome to this video on Elvis is the Man. So today is July 1st, and on this day in 1956, the Steve Allen Show aired, and one of Elvis's most embarrassing moments, probably next to the movie years. Um, in the Elvis movie that just came out, they do a great job of really focusing on this time and how embarrassed Elvis was and how DJ and Bill and Scotty were embarrassed that he actually decided to go through with this. Elvis immediately regretted it and was one of his uh, biggest regrets in his career, probably next to the movies. But um, I want to go a little in depth so you see behind the scenes really what happened, what Steve Allen thought of it, and just really remembering this day and everything that happened. Um, like I said, the Elvis movie did a fantastic job of it. I didn't really expect it, but that was cool too. I'm actually going to see it tonight for the second time. So enjoy this little bit of Elvis history, and I'll talk to you after the video. Naturally, it's our intention to do nothing but a good show. <laughs> Somebody's barking back there. We want to do a show the whole family can watch and enjoy, and we always do. And tonight we are presenting Elvis Presley in his... <laughs> And at this time, it gives me extreme pleasure to introduce the new Elvis Presley. Here he is. So Steve Allen first came across Elvis when Elvis made his performances in January on the stage show. Elvis had five performances on that show and some of his best performances, really. Elvis was being noticed on TV in this time, but there was no outrage. The outrage didn't come until the Milton Berle Hound Dog performance. Now, when Steve Allen saw Elvis on the stage show, he immediately made a note of it and made moves to get Elvis booked. Elvis was actually booked before he made the Milton Berle performance. So when Steve Allen got a lot of heat saying, you know, are you going to cancel Elvis? We saw what he did on the Milton Berle performance. It's disgusting. It's nasty. You should cancel him. Steve Allen was like, hey, I'm already legally obligated to have this guy on the show. I can't cancel it. Steve Allen was in a big ratings war on Sunday night with Ed Sullivan, and Steve knew that if he got Elvis on the show that night, it aired at 8 p.m., that he would definitely blow away Ed Sullivan on the ratings war. Now, Steve Allen says that Elvis wasn't like a fantastic singer, like some type of a phenomenon like maybe Mario Lanza or... Um, Frank Sinatra in his prime, anything like that, Andy Williams. There was just something about Elvis, a charisma, the way he put over a song, the way he performed, his look, his magnetism. That was the draw with Elvis. So he kept his plans to keep Elvis on the Steve Allen show, but he did bend a little bit to please some of the people who were so outraged. He decided to have Elvis dress in uh, a suit and tails, there were to be no gyrating, no vulgar, quote, movements um, on that show to please certain people who were outraged. Although Steve Allen didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Part of this contract was Elvis had to do whatever Steve Allen wanted. So when they went through the rehearsals and Elvis found out that Steve was like, hey, no moving, no nothing. Elvis, after he got through with the dress rehearsal, was like, I hate this. I don't want to do this. And he went down the street to like a little pinball machine, just kind of blew off some steam and got his mind off it. But Elvis, being the good sport that he was, he went through with it. Now, this aired live on Sunday night. Elvis went through the performance, a very, very subdued hound dog followed an actual great performance of uh, I Want You, I Need You, I Love You. But after this performance, Elvis still didn't get any love from his critics. Um, various news outlets were saying, you know, Elvis, we found out, you know, his only draw was his um, over-the-top gyrations. When he just had to stand still and sing, we could all tell he was no voice. He was just a gimmick. The teenage viewers at home, the Elvis fans who tuned in, Steve Allen won the ratings war, obviously. But Elvis fans were not happy. You know, they were sitting at home like, you know, they didn't really know the details of what was going on, but they just had the sense that why is Elvis letting them do this to him? So the Elvis movie really covers this subject very well. Um, after the show, Elvis goes back home. Uh, he's very disappointed in himself. He's embarrassed. Uh, his fans are not happy. They want the old Elvis. Elvis lets off some steam and uh, gets away by himself and has a moment to reflect. The next day, Elvis has a concert in Memphis. 
And he tells the audience, those people in New York aren't going to change me none. You're going to see who the real Elvis is like tonight. And the rest is history. There's a lot of people saying a lot of things. But in the end, you got to listen to yourself. In that moment, Elvis the man was sacrificed. And Elvis the god was born. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button. It helps you grow and expand the channel. Make sure you see that Elvis movie again. Take your friends. It's fantastic. I'm so happy with it. It's like Christmas for us Elvis fans. Enjoy the moment. Hopefully, we get some footage coming out soon. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In the description of this video, there's a link to my Patreon where I put up things, do more in-depth type of uh, videos, add more footage, that kind of thing that I can't really do on YouTube. Also, my Bible and fitness page. Hope to see you guys there. Talk to you in the comments.